Hi guys, this video is to introduce the Nano VNA version 2 software. If you watch the previous video, the introduce of the hardware of the Nano VNA version 2. So this is the software after if you connect to the PC and then you want to use the software as a user interface in the PC. To download the software, you just go to the Nano VNA version 2 software, search from the Google and then you go to this website, official website. And then you can check here, it's like the, actually this is the Nano VNA version 2 without the casing. Okay, where to buy it and then yeah they also have like support forum or discussion so this one is like support until 50 kilohertz and 3 until 3 gigahertz okay next will be you can check from here to download the software so you can click on this so they will go to the they will link up and then you can download the software here this is the nano vna software so when you just load after you just click on it and then you download then they will pull out it's, it's Actually, it's just like 18 mega. Once you have downloaded the software, actually, you don't need to install it. So, example of the software, you just press like in here the Nano VNA 2 release. You go to VNA QT, just, just double click it. So, they will turn on the VNA software. So, this is the VNA view. So, we just zoom it, maximize. So you can see from here they have like short open load and then and then the S11 here and then the S21 here. So the red color is S1 S21 and then the blue color S11. So we can go for to the device and then we can search for the connect to our device. So let's turn on the VNA. Once you turn on the VNA, they have like connected COM port here. Let's refresh. Yeah, the COM6 here. Just click on it. So you can check actually the connection is here. So now the VNA is starting measuring. So you can change this one to S11 or this one to S21. Yeah, it depends on your setting. So let's change back to default. So let's say when you want to change the frequency range, you can go to the device, switch parameter. Here the start and stop frequency and the frequency point. So you can from here, let's say we want like starting is 1 gigahertz. So we put like 1000 megahertz here and then for the stop frequency we can put like 3000 3 gigahertz so the step point is size is 40 then we can tune the power output power as well so let's say we make a default it's like negative 15 dbm okay so we can see the frequency is changing from one it's like one giga until three giga that means like 1000 megahertz until 300 megahertz next we will check on the calibration part so you can see the video here is the hardware so first we will do the open short load so you can see that here is a like short open load so first we'll be using the short so we put on the short part one when you do the calibration so you can see the smith chart here the result is switching to the short near to the short so we just click on calibration short once done then they will highlight like blue color here and then change to open so this is open open then we click on open wait for a while next we'll go for load load so load will be click on the load then we click on apply so once apply, you can see it's a good result for the load. So load is like 50 ohm here. Then we can check about like the open. This one is a shot. You can put on the shot so you can see the result. It's shot here. Then next. Then this one is the open. When you switch to open. Yeah, so the result is here. The result is showing here. Okay. Next, we will put our antenna and then we see the graph. Is it just showing the S2.4 gigahertz? Next, if you want to check for the marker, so you can click on here and then move to the frequency point that you want to see. So you can check here, it's like 2469 megahertz, it's like 2.47 gigahertz. Okay, so it's how you check your put the marker and then you can put add on the marker as well. So you can put like marker 1, marker 2. So let's say you want to put another marker. So you can move 
marker 1 and then marker 2 yeah, to the point that you want so you also can like move it like change this one to S, S11 and then this one to S21 or you can switch it to like face yeah, you can move it to face okay, so S21, S21 face okay then if you want to grab this result, you can move it back to the magnitude. Okay. If you want to save the S parameter result of this, you can go to S parameter, export the S1P 4.1. Okay, and then you can save it like testing one. Then we can go to go then we can go back to the folder and then view the result. So you can see the testing one is here. So we just turn on this testing. So from the result, you can see we have like S11, the megahertz, the frequency, and then the S parameter. So the S11 is here, it's like 0 0.5. It, the mean this one is linear, and then this one is phase. It's from 1 gigahertz until 3 gigahertz. Okay, so this is the result. Yeah, why we don't have S21? Because we didn't calibration for, we didn't calibrate for S21. And then we only calibrate for port 1. So they only export for port 1 so if you calibrate for 2 port then you will have 2 port calibration so you can choose on like SOLT they have the T for the true so you have you will have 2 port calibration here okay so that's all for this video if you like this video please like it remember to subscribe my channel